American pie. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Them good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye, singing, this'll be the day that I die. Thank you. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> The backup singing. Thank you very much. Robin, happy birthday. Like I said, happy 25th birthday. Uh, next year, maybe we'll do it again for your 26th. This is your best birthday. Thank you. Oh, no, thank you for having me. All right. My name is Vincent Rodriguez. And like I said, I know Robin because of Smiles I Can't See, which is the. Oh, people are coming in now. Does that mean I have to start over? Oh, yeah. <laughs> my child, my child, oh, okay. And my own child. Yeah, tell us about Smiles. Smiles I Can't See is an organization I started about almost four years ago where I work in Bethel. The owner of the company that I work gave each employee $500 to give back uh, to the community, however we wanted. Um, so what I did is I bought three acoustic guitars and I put out a video on Facebook and on, um, on YouTube just saying I'm looking for three children to give acoustic guitars to because I was a kid in the Bronx, we moved to Yonkers. I didn't have any friends. My guitar was my best friend when I was 10, 11 years old. So I'm sure there's a lot of kids like that. So uh, I wanted to find those kids and give them guitars and just play in the room and teach themselves. Not give lessons, because like I said, I taught myself, you know, because I remember when I was a kid, I used to, my, my parents gave me a guitar. Just, that just sounded nice. Like you hit the guitar in the hole. Wow, that's cool. I wasn't even doing anything with my left hand. So you're just doing that. That's that's well, practice because you take a pick and you go like that. Yeah. And then I noticed little by little that when I put my fingers here, the sound would change. Go. Okay. So wow, that's interesting. You put your finger on it, the note goes up because the string is shorter. So this is. So and that's when I noticed, and then I learned how to tune a guitar. Now they have electronic tuners, so it's a lot easier. <laughs> so uh, one of the first things I, I did was, I just look at how simple this is. And I figured if a kid starts picking this up, even if I was to give lessons, yeah, I'm not supposed to teach them this. You're supposed to teach them how to hold things right, how to do things right, how to learn notes. But if I just go like this, that's practicing. And then I hit these two notes and I made this sound. See how they blend? And then I taught myself that that second string, second from the top, if I go up one, it makes kind of a cool kind of sound. Sounds, it almost sounds like James Bond, yeah, right? It does. <laughs> but all I'm doing is just moving my finger one going one up. And then I found out that if you go like this, if I muffle it with my wrist, you know, and okay, this is how it rings out. And if I muffle it, listen to how cool this sounds. Yeah. So different. And I'm just muffling it with my wrist, my palm. So I, I, I started figuring out that things like this are cool. And there's a lot of songs that do that. Like I said, James Bond, there's a funny, long, cool woman in a black dress. There's a lot of songs. That, And it's just very simple and that's I want to do that for other kids and plus with the pandemic they're all looking at their phones they're all looking at the computers remote learning so I'm trying to get them off their phones to play an instrument could be any instrument could be uh, a piano could be anything and then I tell them I'm trying to get them off the internet and then I tell them well there's a lot of good YouTube videos on the internet that will teach you <laughs> so it's kind of like a double-edged sword so, that, so that's what I do now, and that's how I know Robin. She's connected with me. She's given me many guitars that I've had fixed and retuned, and here's another one she's given me. And we find a home for kids that want to play guitar. That's awesome. awesome. It really is. It's kind of cool. And it's called Smiles I Can't See, because when I was meeting the children with their parents, it was during the pandemic, and they all had oh, masks, masks on. Masks, yeah. So I couldn't see the smiles, but could see the eyes of smile. Yeah. And that's yeah. why it's called Smiles I Can't See. And then when the pandemic ended, people asked me, they said, well, you're going to change it now to Smiles I Can See? That kind of defeats the purpose. Mm -hmm. It started as Smiles I Can't See. Plus, I had already bought the domain Smiles I Can't See. <laughs> and the website, the website is Smiles I Can't, 
with a C. So then I have to change everything oh. and people won't be able to find me. Yeah. But I have to leave it with the original. Sure. Logo. And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> well, I like that too because you're giving smiles that you can't see all the time anyway. So right, yeah, because yeah, now I ship them across the country. Yeah. Someone in California fills out a form on the website. And they're distributing smiles. Right. It's a ripple effect. Yeah, so you yeah. won't see that ripple effect, but yeah. it's there. Right? No, it's people always, yeah, they tell me about yeah. the ripple effect. And people I've given guitars to, they've gotten like newer ones and they've taken the guitar I gave them and gave it to someone else. So it, it's it just it expands. Look where you started. Look where yeah. you started. So it's kind of cool, and it all started. It's the owner of the company. I mean, he's kind of separate from it. He has nothing to do with it, but he loves the fact that now it's 253 guitars later, and now I'm playing again, and I never used to play it. What's I, the name of the company? The company I work for is Bass Technologies in Bethel. We service and lease printers. You know, multifunction printers. I don't know, Robin, if you have a multifunction. People, they scan documents oh, yeah, into yeah. the system and yeah. copier, you know. Well, I mean, that's the kind of business you want to send business to. Yeah. That spirit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it works out well. He's happy, I'm happy, and every, everyone's happy. That's great. So, so happy birthday again, Robin. <laughs> I have my necklace, too. Oh, okay, great. See, she's always giving me something for a guitar, which is great. So if I have a guitar that doesn't look, maybe it'll go with that one. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Fantastic. Well, everyone's invited to Robin's house. The limousines are going to come, and uh, there's going to be a full band there, horn section. That's awesome. It's nice. No, that's a beauty. You got that on Facebook? Um, it's a very interesting story, Benson, for this one. Yeah, and I, I have a guy who changes, the guy that works at the Guitar Center changes the strings for me. Yeah. And he does it for free, I just pay him for the strings. That's awesome. Because uh, he knows what I'm doing. You know, he contacted me, he goes, if you need help. Because I wouldn't be able to do it myself. Like I said, with my eyes, changing strings, it's not that easy. I just play it, I don't yeah. work on it. Is that all right with you? Oh, please, please. Is that all right with you if I have some cake? Of course. Oh, okay, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Better make sure she's okay with it. <laughs> That's funny.